even when you are telling me that my head is big, even if I know that it's big, my dear is my head, and I love it like that. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. And if you're a returning subscriber, man, you're the real G. I love you so much. Thank you, thank you. So, okay, sorry. Let me talk about the um, previous videos that was put out. Thank you so much for the love. Gosh, it was so amazing. Thank you so much for the nice comments. Really, I appreciate them. Yes. So today, I'm going, to talk, I'm going to be talking about five lessons I've learned about relationships. Yes, as you can see, the topic, five lessons I've learned about relationships. Yes, yeah, so um, basically these five, I had to just, you know, pick them and because they are the ones I can really, really relate with and I have experienced and I learned them somehow from experience. But I've learned so much because I have so much interest in relationships. So I've learned a lot, but I'm going to be talking about these five and I hope I can, you know, pass the message in this short time yeah so um the first one would be to always define look at where i'm saying it, always divine relationships yes it is so important in order to avoid situationships so i know that a lot of people have the grace to you know what are we doing even if they like the person what are we doing please 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 and if everything is not going for they leave and everything but i know that there are some other people you know like me who was once there so in, for me mine was as it was a self-esteem issue which i'm going to talk about in another video because if i say i want to say this whole story it that would be all for this video but i'm going to do a separate video where i'm going to talk about the whole you know it's going to be like a story time yeah so yeah you have to define it so i know that there are people out there who you know do not you know because you don't want to feel desperate you don't want to feel like oh why am i too forward and all or all stuff like that but please always define relationships so avoid you know go bay to avoid to help yourself you know it's going to really help you to know what you're doing and you know what this person wants always 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 good please define relationships yes so the second point would be to communicate and do not assume <laughs> you know i'm smiling because i am still on this table i always do i assume i i i think i'm like an overthinker so i assume a lot so please Try to communicate, you know, it is good. In communicating, you you don't have to just say it as it comes. You you can look for the perfect time and you need to know how to say it. But please, instead of assuming, talk about how you feel. Communicate it. This is how I feel. I want to know, is this true? Is this not? You know, and get it. Because I realized sometimes there's there's a there's the place of intuition like i'm trying to place a balance where you just feel something and it may be right but even do not just conclude okay there may be reasons why this person is doing this there may be reason why you know you know you should just communicate don't say oh i'm going to leave it like that i'm even at fault at this i'm talking to myself also i need to communicate and do not assume or just leave things like that so always communicate the third part the third point is to love yourself enough now i have to stress enough because you can love yourself but it is not okay it is not enough for you to you know love another person so please love yourself enough you know when you love yourself enough it will help you avoid a lot of things see finish you know so you no, know, we have abusive relationships now. You know, I feel like it is also from a place of not loving yourself enough. When you love yourself enough, you know that you deserve only the best. You know that you're not supposed to take some kind of things. You know your worth and you have standards. So it is very important to love yourself enough. Not just love yourself, but enough. Okay? Because it will help you to avoid so many things, right? So I also learned that, you know, for, for me, it was a whole self-esteem thing. And I needed to know that, see, you have what? You're this, you're beautiful, you're made in God's image. So many things like that. So I love myself enough that even when you're telling me that my head is big, even if I know that it's big, my dear is my head, and I love it like that. Okay, so please love yourself enough. Your your physical attributes, your, you know, things that you can do. Just accept yourself for who you are. It's so important. Yes, so another point would be do not compare. Do not compare your relationship with any other person. 
CM, this one is not just for love relationships, right? It's for every other type of relationship. Do not compare. You and this one, you're having this kind of issues. You're having this. Even as friends, you know, say, Mr. A is doing this. They are like this. Please, though, don't compare. See, another man's farm, I always tell myself that, is always greener from afar. Okay, when you hear things, I have the opportunity to, you know, view people in some kind of way and get close to them and hear things and I'm like, thank you, thank you. And I'm like, thank you, Jesus. And I begin to say, oh God, I, I, and I just, I just keep reminding myself that, see, you cannot compare yourself, even not, 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 not just relationship, but generally, don't compare yourself with, so I, I know that there's a part of the Bible that said, they comparing themselves with one another, they are not wise, you know, I just, um, paraphrase that but you don't need to compare yourself in your relationship whatever don't say this do not compare that's just the long and short do not compare <laughs> yourself so the last point i'm trying to make this video as short as possible that i have learned is that relationship hmm, is work hmm. now work relationships is so much work so i'm going to use uh, myself and my siblings as an example so there are times where i don't want to talk there are times where i don't want to listen there are times where you know we fight we argue but that intentionality you know doing stuff working like working it out let's talk about this issue i don't like what you did like me i, I may not talk at that point but later because I know that we're in this space, because I know that I must make it work, because I know that you're my sister, that is a different game. But if it's with somebody that you really love and that you, you know, you want to see this thing work, you want to see it grow, you want to become better people, you need to make it work. You cannot just leave it like that. A doctor goes to school to study medicine for seven years and becomes a doctor. That's how it is. You don't just leave relationships. You read books. You learn about this person. You communicate. You do these things. There should be so much intentionality. You have to make it work. You know, if you go into it and just thinking that, oh, say, eh, first month, second month, oh, this thing is not going as I want. You jump. You, you just keep jumping and jumping, but you need to make it work. Now, regard like... I want to put a caveat to it. If it is, there are some that it's not just working, and you know you cannot just be there. You not say ah, they say I should make it work. Or even when it's beating me, I have to make it work. No, 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 no. If you know that this person is good, if you know that, see, you will have fights, you have everything like that. So relationship now work. I hope you enjoyed this video as I enjoyed making it. Please like, share subscribe please comment you know tell me what you think about this video tell me other things you have learned and things that you just want to share all right bye, bye.